Good morning, friends. I am Dr. Sumit Sinha, Senior Consultant Cardiologist at TX Hospitals, Road Number 12, Banjara Hills. Today, I am going to speak briefly on heart failure and its management. Heart failure is a condition where the heart muscle is unable to pump blood commensurate with the needs of the body. So, the it could be a muscle failure, that is, the heart muscle gets damaged, as in heart attacks or myocarditis or various other cardiomyopathies or it could be because of an obstruction to a valve uh, involving the frequently the mitral and aortic valve but any valve which has a obstruction or a severe leakage can also lead to heart failure. Heart failure could also be secondary to uh, many other conditions like uh, endocrine conditions uh, or uh, because of renal failure or because of liver disease. So there are a lot of conditions which produce heart failure. However, it is important that heart failure should be recognized early and should be treated effectively. Now we have a lot of modalities of treatment of heart failure, including medical treatment, surgical treatment and uh, usage of cardiac resynchronization devices and also uh, to improve the heart pumping function with LVSS device and finally we also have a cardiac transplantation. Now coming to the medical management of heart failure, first and foremost is the lifestyle modification which includes control of hypertension, diabetes, dyslipidemia and various underlying risk factors which have produced the heart damage and heart failure. Also, the dietary restriction of salt intake to around 1 to 2 grams per day and uh, also the water consumption to around 1 to 1.5 liters per day is important in managing the failure symptoms. It is also important to treat the kidney conditions and other comorbidities which can aggravate the heart failure. Also, the nutritional causes, anemia, all should be tackled in the management of heart failure. Now coming to the specific drugs for the heart failure, we have the beta blockers, we have the ACE inhibitors or the ARNI group of drugs. We also have the SGL2 inhibitors and the mineralocorticoid antagonists. Apart from that, there are a lot of other drugs for specific conditions which can control the heart rate and also improve the cardiac contractility. So now seeing a doctor at a proper time with regular follow-up checkups and proper adherence to diet and the medications can improve the symptoms to agree a deal and prevent rehospitalizations. Now, if there is a failing heart and the medical treatment alone is not sufficient to treat the symptoms, then patients can go for a cardiac resynchronization therapy, automatic defibrillators to prevent arrhythmias and sudden cardiac death, and also you have the left ventricular assist device which acts as a second pump to support the heart. And patients who are in refractory heart failure are candidates for cardiac transplantation which has been done now regularly in India and in Hyderabad also. And this is also a good modality uh, but only thing is that they require a proper donor of the adequate blood group and body weight. So cardiac transplantation is the uh, also a very important modality in treatment of heart failure. So there are various uh, modalities available today and definitely the quality of life can be improved with a proper management. Thank you.